Welcome. Now I know in one of my previous videos, I explained to y'all that y'all could remap y'all paddles so that y'all can use rhythm shooting with no tempo. Now today, I'm gonna go in a bit more detail and show you how I did that, and I'm gonna explain why I did it the way that I done it. So let me go ahead and share this with y'all. You need to go to settings first. So you scroll over to profile and system, and then you go down to settings. Once you're in your settings, you want to go to device and connections. And once you go to device and connections, you want to go to controllers and headsets. Okay, now you can see this is my controller. I have three different profiles. I only use profile two right now. I don't have default two select or default three selected. And then you want to go into that and you want to hit configure. Okay, so I'm only using profile two and on your controller, there's an LED. It's gonna let you know which profile you're using. And then for mine, more specifically, I have mine's color coordinated. So right now my controller LED will be green when I'm in profile two. Now, when you wanna edit or remap your controls, you come here, you hit this little pencil icon and you hit edit. All right, so on my controller, I only use the, the top paddles. So you can see right here, these two paddles right here. I don't even have the bottom ones installed. Okay, and then for the one in my left hand, the paddle closest to my left hand, I have it right stick left. So you click here, you go to primary, you scroll all the way down, and then you go right stick left, right? And then for the one closest to my right hand, I go primary and I do right stick right. And as you see there, you click it, you select it, and now it's remapped. Now I also have the bottom ones mapped to the same ones as these two as well, just because now if you do have all four of them on, you know, I just map them the same direction just in case you accidentally hit one. That's why I did that. But now it's time to explain to y'all why I do it this way to work with rhythm shooting as well instead of doing up down. And of course, if you want to map the D pad to the analog stick, I, I changed mine back to the directional buttons because I don't use the D pad to shoot. But if you want to, you can use D pad up or D pad down. You can select D pad up to be up on the right stick and D pad down to be down on the right stick. And you can remap it like that as well if you'd rather use the D-pad, but I'm gonna to explain to you in more detail why my paddles I use left, right instead of up, down. So now I'm gonna to explain to you and show you why I use left, right on my paddles instead of just using um, down on the right stick, up on the right stick. Because when you use left, right, it also unlocks some dribble moves for you. That means you could dribble with the paddles as well. So that means you could combo up, you know what I'm saying? You could do some combos with the paddles and you don't have to worry about flicking the analog stick. And even if you did want to dribble with the paddles and then come back and shoot with the analog, you could if you felt more comfortable with that. But for me, I mean, you could pull out some simple combos like you can do the Hezzy Escape with ease, you know what I'm saying? I dropped the video how to do the Hezzy Escape, but yeah, I could do that with the paddle and then I can come back and then I can use the paddles to rhythm shoot. You know, it's absolutely, it's absolutely fire. I mean, just take a look, bro. Take a look, you know what I'm saying? It's cake, you feel me? Straight paddle work, straight paddle work, you know what I'm saying? And you Straight paddle work. Now, the other major benefit to this is, since it's mapped to the left and the right, when you're on defense, you can use those to get steals. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I, don't, I ain't got nobody out there, so let me invite somebody to my mind court. We're on a quick one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm gonna show you, you can use it to get steals. So I'm gonna I'm show y'all in this clip, bro. I'm not gonna necessarily go for the steal, but I, I guess I could try, I could try. Because you know, of course, like he posted me up and whatnot, but you can see if I, okay, come on, bro. You gonna post score me? I'm trying to I'm trying to show them the steal mechanic. Come on, my boy. So I go for the steal there. I go for the steal there. I get it. And I'm using the paddles. You feel me? I, I got the steal. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I map them to the left and the right compared to going up down. I feel like it's easier. You have more options with the paddle, and it's gonna give you a better advantage. You feel what I'm saying? So so that's why I use the paddles for left, right, instead of just going up down. You could do more with it, you could dribble, you could steal. And you can shoot. It's like the ultimate combination just for using this, this button, these paddles. And if you know, last year in the game, there was right stick ripper. You feel what I'm saying? In which we was using the right stick, you get a bonus for the steals. Now, I know that right stick ripper isn't necessarily in the game, but there's still underlying badges in the game that might work with gloves that maybe give you an extra benefit to getting the steals just by using these buttons as well, which it should. You know what I'm saying? So, 
anyways, man, I hope y'all found this useful. I hope this helped y'all out if y'all had trouble mapping it. Um, I know for PlayStation, I know some of y'all was out there telling me that y'all wasn't able to map the right stick directionally, and y'all could only map it by clicking on it. But clicking on it doesn't do anything. So yeah, I, so far, I haven't heard or seen no way to remap it for playstation but if i do find something man i'll let y'all know i'll keep looking into it for sure but anyways man i hope y'all enjoyed the video y'all be sure to subscribe if you're new click the notifications on it so you don't miss a beat until next time disky out